Yep. Go here and take one damage. Yep. Go here and he dies. Yay. Hello everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from Medi Old England. How the devil are you? I hope you are well. Welcome back to uh, Tabletop Simulator and Boss Monster with me, Suffolk Blue and Digimaster. Hello, hello. How are you, Suffolk? I'm good, thanks, man. Now, remember the last time we were just halfway through a build phase. We both laid our cards down. We're going to flip in three, two, one, flip. I just upgraded mine. I'm assuming you've now taken the majors, which he has. But yeah, he I has. get to swap placements of runes. Okay, enjoy um, that. Yep. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to swap the placement of any room, so I'm going to keep it there. Okay. Now, all I did was upgrade mine to the Liger's Den. That's all I did with mine is just upgrade it. Um, Digi actually changed his rooms and has now added an extra book, so he gets both of these mages that are going to come and visit him. Take he them through your... Take them through Any your mage. spells or anything? Um... No. All right. So this guy will go here, take two damage. Yep. Go here and take one damage. Yep. Go here and he dies. Yay! Which is good for DG Because he gets so get to have a plus one. soul. And then once per turn, if a hero dies in this room, you may heal one wound. Flip over one of your wounds, adding it to your souls. So that puts me at seven. Yay! Then this guy comes through and takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he dies there. <sighs> It was close, that mage nearly made it through, but he didn't. That's another good score for Dig. Excellent job, well done, Dig. Thank you. So now, it's more hero time, and we only have two basic heroes left. A cleric, and another mage! <laughs> <laughs> so now draw your card. Oh, goodness me. Oh dear. Alrighty. Oh dear, this is not good, Dig. Not good. I don't think I want to do anything. Oh, I do. All right, you ready? Um, have you played one? I have. Um, how many relics do you currently have? One, just like me. Yeah, might be able to do something about that. Hold on. <laughs> uh, one, two. No, I'll stay where I am for now. All right. I reveal. Oof. On, when I play this room, I get to pick one ordinary hero and put it at the entrance of my dungeon. He does. So he gets I will take the cleric. Well done. And then once we go to the lure phase, or the bait phase, I get the mage. He does. So do you have any spells you want to play? Nope. All right. So as we counted last time, two, three, five, or sorry, six. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> eight damage. And he goes there. Boop. This guy gets to here. and But the ability doesn't need to go off. And that puts me at ten. Which, there it is. Ba -ba! at the end of this phase, we determine if anyone has ten. If they do, they win. So, ba -ba 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 -bam! I win on camera again. He does win on camera. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, on the test game, I beat him. All right? <laughs> <laughs> didn't happen on camera. It never happens on camera for me. I lose. It's really unfortunate because I, what I managed to get myself into in this game is a bit of a rut because I wanted to get this Minotaur's maze. I could have played some stuff, but I want to get this Minotaur's maze involved so that um, they had to keep going backwards into my bordello because every time they hit that, they would have gone backwards back in here. That would have been six damage. Moves. 
six yeah. every time, and I would have had a really good uh, and I'd better oh. turn all these ones over. But yeah. unfortunately, not not going to happen. I never actually let a thing get back in your dungeon once that was there. No, but Anna, I kept... do you know what? I had yeah. worse luck when it comes to um, sort of cards because I kept getting the same bloody cards over and over again. Um, another Minotaur's one for no bloody reason. Um, that was all. I mean, they were all pretty rubbish cards actually that I was getting after a while, which were no good to me whatsoever. But um, it was a definitely a good game, and your spells at the beginning were really effective. They were, and they helped out a lot. Like, I kept getting a lot of, like, I had, hold on, I'm in flick mode. I don't want to flick. I don't want to flick that card. Okay, get out of flick mode. All right. No, I'm back in flick mode. Dang it. Is flick mode off? How do you turn flick mode off? Just hit the little button at the top, which is the grab button. Oh, okay. So Left-hand side, hit grab, and there you go. I mean, I had halfway decent cards, like that one fighter card that gives you plus one to adjacents. I had a spare I had two of those steely cards. I had this in case you ever tried to play something to boost a room. You know, I had I had halfway decent cards, but if you noticed, I kept like laying over cards just to, to take the, yeah. the types because I was like, well, I'm going to lose power, but I'm going to still be able to defeat them. So I've just played strategically to be able to still be able to beat them and take over the rooms. Or take the now, guys. I did not have what I wanted really, which was more. I did not get enough damage cards coming through. That was my problem. Um, yeah. I had a lot of trap rooms, not a lot of monster rooms in the end, but I did manage to get two of my golden monsters down in the end. But my goodness, that was that was quite a difficult uh, set of cards I was given there. But well done, Didge. Didge yeah, indeed is indeed the winner of the first ever boss monster game. Um, have a coin. So, um, before we end this, <laughs> before we end this, since this this video is going to only be seven minutes long so far, uh, how about you tell everyone or we discuss what we thought of this game in a total before we end it? Yeah. Like, so we. So, did you recommend to play this with uh, with other people, or? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think this is actually a really good game. It was a little bit. There's a lot of cards, and there's a lot of getting used to the routine and getting used to the order. Um, but this, uh, it was a free download on Steam, by the way. It's under the. If you have to, obviously, you have to buy Tabletop Simulator first. But it's in the community download section, so it's just a freebie. Um, so yeah, it's in the workshop. Really, yep. Which is I really do cool. happen to own this game. I have never actually played it in person, but I do own it. Um, I own the, the Boss Monster 2, which is a standalone expansion, which can be combined with the first game. Um, and we can do that, because with this actual version that we're playing here, it includes that as an add-on. So actually, we could, yeah. next time, for example, we could play Boss Monster 2, which includes some items, I think, doesn't it? Um, no, uh, that is actually one of the other um, little little tiny expansions that include items. Uh, there are a total of three expansions. Boss Monster 2 is the only standalone. And then there's two mini expansions that are in here. Um, and they add additional rules which we didn't know how to use. So we left them out because nowhere on this table does it explain how to use them. <laughs> so we left them out at this point in time. And maybe if we ever get more people, because I'm sure this is a blast with four people. Um, if we ever get more people to play, I'll definitely make sure to look into how to incorporate those extra rules. Yes, absolutely. But and I, th I think it's totally well worth it. And I think if you do have Tabletop Simulator and you've got some um, friends around, this is definitely one of those games that I've played. A bit like um, Tiny Epic Galaxies as well. Tiny yeah. Epic Galaxies. If you guys uh, notice, we game. play a lot of card games because card yeah. games generally, most unless they're deck building games, um, sort of like Tiny Epic Galaxy was, it was like a village building game, and this is a dungeon building game. Um, they don't take that long. Like this one, the average game time is supposed to be around 15 minutes. Obviously, it takes longer when you're recording like we did, but if we got four people and they started to know what they were doing, it'd go a lot quicker. It'd go about, you know, 20 to 30 minutes per game. So mm -hmm. I think I think it's a really good, like... I don't know, really good little quick game if you guys wanted to just throw it down. It doesn't take much setup, and it doesn't really take that long to go through. Like, once we went through in the test thing, we went through, like, the first two or three rounds. We were just like, and this one, and this one, and this one. We knew exactly what we were doing at that point in time. Yep. Play and it's, hey, it was good fun. Uh, I think it's very balanced. I think the cards work really well. I think I love the, the look of the actual cards as well with that sort of, um, you know, a big they've got going on that retro graphic stuff is pretty cool yeah it's um, awesome i love the old yep. style 
love the old stuff. I love the fact they've got all the characters. I love Tabletop Simulator. It's so good. So absolutely, I would totally recommend this game for anyone to play. And uh, who knows, maybe soon we will be able to get some more people playing with us on Tabletop. You never know. Can I just yeah. say, Digi, I've also just worked out, looking at the room around us, that this is actually from Skyrim, and it is the um, Tomb of Red Eagle is the is the room that we're in here at the moment um, in Skyrim. And that's how sad I am, because I've just realized and recognized it. That's you how, gotta that's be that's... kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. The table has gone for a burn. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know this episode's a bit shorter than the others, but, you know, sometimes it's just the way it goes. Um, we I'm didn't know heading... I was going to win right away. <laughs> no, but I'm going to head off and pack my suitcase ready to head off to the United States, to New Orleans, and to Seattle. Um, so I've got to go and do that. And Digi's got to go and uh, eat things, Sweet. play games, kill people, that sort of thing. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. fun. <laughs> well, you have a great trip. Be safe when you're out in America because it is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I was supposed to go as Halloween. Funny enough, just a little story. I was supposed to go to, um, at Halloween. We're spending actually in, uh, for Halloween. I'm going to be in New Orleans. And obviously they have a few parties and stuff. Ooh, that's going to be fun. To. Especially on but Bourbon one, Street. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's where we're based. And um, one of the um, uh, friends who I'm going with, who's an American, said, um, "You know, what are you going to are you going to dress up?" And I said, "Well, I should. Um, so maybe I'll go as I'll do my scary Seahawk clown." And she said, "No, no, 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 no scary clowns in America. No, no clowns. No because clowns people are sh- people are shooting clowns first and asking questions later, Matt. So we're having no clowns. No, no clowns. <laughs> we well, so, for uh, those of who don't know, like they're out <laughs> right now in America. We have this clown craze where people are dressing up as scary clowns." And just walking down the street or alleyways and just walking up to people or stopping people's cars and just being overly creepy. And so far, every time it's been like, oh, a clown's been shot. Every time I've seen the video or seen the article, it's been declared fake. So, so far, I haven't heard of any clowns actually being shot. But there were a couple of clowns that were beat up really badly. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and you know what? I, whilst I've got medical insurance, I just don't want to have to put that to the test. <laughs> So, um, especially uh, a British clown I, in America, man, you'd be toast. I'd be the, I'd be the, I'd be the, I'd be the politest, I'd be the politest clown that you've ever seen. Hello, good morning. Hello. Did um, you say hello yes. to me? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's not going to happen. But in any case, uh, thanks so much for playing with us today, Did It was great fun. Oh yeah, it was amazing. Thanks for having me. I guess. It's like yes, because I I, ho- I I hosted the server, so yeah, you did. Twice. You did totally did. I host it, so. Um, so thanks so much for playing for us. If you have enjoyed this video, peeps, do leave any comments down below. Um, leave any likes. Do all the subscribing stuff, as you know, both channels. Um, and when I come back from the USA, we'll have some more. Maybe we'll do some more tabletop digits. Perhaps we'll go back to Elder Scrolls. Perhaps we'll do something completely different. We don't know what we're going to do. We just do it. Ba, ba, ba. That's how we roll. Oh, and by the way, everyone, I know this is going to be a bit late now because not everyone's going to be able to do it, but because it's going to be Halloween soon, do go and check out Digi's new Halloween art if you're seeing this before Halloween because it's amazing. Just yes. saying. Yes. It won't be before Halloween, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, perhaps Digi perhaps Dig will put up a little flash of his, uh, put, put a little, put a little uh, screen flash on or something. Edit it in so they can see what it looked like because it looks pretty cool. Crap, now i got to remember that. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. I'm going to head off and start packing. Yeah. You take care of yourself, and I'll speak to you soon. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, Digimaster here. Seems the episode is over. If you missed an episode, click here to go to my playlist. Maybe you want to check out some of my other videos? Click here to sub and go to my channel page. Well, thanks again for joining me on today's adventure. <laughs>